It really is, and the trouble is that when you are on a really big map like this, there's always the urge to play very greedy mm -hmm. and try and get a great economy. But the downside to that is that by doing so, you can run into some dangers if your opponent tries to go for something aggressive. Anyway, we are in-game, and spawning down to the lower right, we have got the Teal Zerg player, representing DK, Tomicus. And this green opponent in the top right from Team Esports Club visualized the Dutch representative in this match. He is Rain Man. And I really want to re reiterate on what you mentioned there is that uh, some something some especially Zerg players like to do on this map is go for an aggressive all-in simply because it is so incredibly unexpected. You know, it's just a whole new or, or actually a very classic way of metagaming your opponent. Uh, especially against Protoss, going for a 6 pull here as a Zerg can be very effective. One really great build on this map potentially to go for is something like a big speedling all-in because you can hide your natural base very easily you can rally those speedlings where you can't be seen easily the risk to that though is obviously the ramp into the main is incredibly easy to wall off with two queens but if your opponent's played greedy and not got out those links not got out those queens early you can still just push straight through that relatively simply so potential for this to go long or for one player to get very aggressive but for the moment, it looks like they're both playing relatively macro oriented, especially Rain Man, who's just going to go and take his natural, as is yeah. Atomicus. Yeah, both players are definitely going to be playing this for uh, at least the semi-long haul. Um, we're not quite sure, of course, what kind of strategy these players will be going for. We can't really tell that until they actually start taking their gases. Uh, both players, uh, because they are such close proximity, are going to get a somewhat similar scouting timing off on each other. Uh, Rain Man, once again, going to going to get somewhat earlier kind of lucky scout, uh, and yeah, luckily for him, he'll be able to spot the hatchery of Tomicus uh, quite quickly, and he can respond appropriately, like, there's actually a, a gas before pull com coming up for Tomicus, so this may very well be a nice uh, speedling timing. And again, speedlings can work exceptionally well, I mentioned it straight at the start. Um, over on Rain Man's side, if he holds though, he should get into a relatively good economic spot, and by no means does this instantly equal a big speedling timing. It could just be the same build that we saw on actually the last map on a, on Overgrowth there, so Yeah. Yeah it's just uh similar builds for both except for the gas. Uh Rayman of course in the previous game did yeah this was a very similar discrepancy between the two. And uh, I would not be surprised to once again see him go for a more roach standard strategy uh, or at least something very economic. You know, roaches if you can get them out early in the beginning with a decent wall off are just a very solid unit to have in, mid, in the mid game. The, the thing is, though, for Rayman is that walling off the access to his main, or in the, yeah, or well, of course the natural walling off doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but walling off the access to his base is rather difficult without appropriate creep spread. The only way you can do it is with two queens, but if yeah. you use the two queens, they're not a long term solution. If you had, say, even say 16, 18 speedlings running up against them, they will break through if there's only two queens there. But it can buy you the time you need to get defensive lings out. However, one key thing to note is speed started, yet we've still got drones and gas on Tomicus' side. So this is more likely to be some speedling bailing aggression. Yeah, the bailing uh, nest really giving away that he either really senses some sort of incoming attack, which is uh, of course not the case. Uh, in fact, his overlord has just been sitting outside of his opponent's main uh, and will no, no, it won't actually be be picked up because it is. Wait, is it faster than Queen's off creep? I'm not quite no, sure. The Queen's will catch it. Ah, but the he does have. Broken. Oh, and now two links come here and annoy and get picked off. Uh, yeah, these Queens are actually marching uh, quite far away from the ramp, and speedlings are actually quite close to finishing. So, if Tomicus would were to really ramp up the speedling production, you might might actually have uh, something going for him. But no, Rayman actually uh, is going to park. He's on the top of his ramp, but you know the example you just gave of uh, a mass of speedlings, it will break through the, for the queens. The one plus side is that there is of course the spine crawler and creep tumors coming down for Rain Man. This is going to spread his creep forward so he can reposition that spine to help him hold. This is now a big baneling play. We know that it's going to be banelings uh, offensively rather than defensively because those three drones kept in the gas the entire time. That's really a big indicator of its defensive banelings we would have seen too. Oh, this is so smart by Tomicus. He's keeping a drone at his third, uh, under the vision of the Overlord, indicating like, oh, I'm going to take a third, nothing to worry about. And now suddenly, bam, 25 speedlings heading down the ramp, 
straight for Rain Man's face, who, for his sake, has finally managed to get that spine crawler up and some speed, and you know, <laughs> and some creep spread. So he needs to throw down something quick because he won't be able to hold this with just queens. No, the queens and the spine will buy some time. The Roach Warren, not quite finished up yet. Remember, there's Banelings morphing as well. Roaches will be the best response. A third queen now in there. This should stop too much coming through in the form of Lings initially, but it's only buying time. Five roaches in production at the moment for Rain Man. Get a nice transfuse off for one oh, queen falls. just break through. And now the Banelings are marching in and just gonna, well actually just gonna ignore that thing and just go straight into the middle line and, oh Rain Man, he's gonna lose so much here. Lings just surrounding, and here come the roaches finally, but the Banelings are gonna be like, oh, let's give him a hug boys. The trouble uh, is the roaches, are able to pick up these banelings and not enough damage has yet been done. Look at the worker count, 28 to 24. Tomicus needs to kill a couple more workers to justify this because he's behind in tech, he doesn't have roaches and the economies are still level. Rain Man is still completely in this game despite this very aggressive opening. And yeah, th this is why roaches are such a solid unit. They clean up the links like it's almost nothing. Uh, the links, of course, trying to kill off whatever they can, but the drones are already being remade, and like you pointed out, the roach count, I mean, the drone count is pretty much equal, so this play by Tomicus, as damaging as it seems, uh, has only managed to equalize the game somewhat rather than uh, deal any or well, heavily defective damage. What's really important now is Rain Man counterattacks. He's yep. got to apply pressure to Tomicus to force him to produce units rather than drones. And while you're being aggressive as a Zerg, you can obviously then just pump out more drones back at home. A little bit of counter pressure, or continual pressure coming through and the speedlings are going to make their way into the natural base of Rainman. Yeah, they're going to pick up a queen and Rayman uh, will respond to this by uh, running back all of his roaches. A bit of a mistake, uh, I feel, because the earlier he hits with this counter-attack, the more powerful uh, it will be. Um, the response by Tomicus is building a bunch of spine crawlers and taking into a lair. However, I'm not all that sure if that's the best decision. However, the links that he's making right now, uh, when he gets enough of them, will of course be able to finally deal uh, with these roaches, however, they do have plus one attack, so I believe they two shot Zerklings, if I'm correct? Uh, they should do, yep. Yeah. The downside, the thing is, Tomicus is sitting here with those spines, they're gonna buy some time. But can the Lings get enough surface area to trade this well? And the roaches can just try and run straight past. Nice position for Tomicus to get those Lings. Initially can't quite trap the roaches, sneak on by. Oh, now the position is up for Rayman, uh, protecting a lot of that surface area by wedging himself between the spawning pool and the, and the ramp. And uh, he's killing a lot of these links, will now get into the mineral line. Uh, more links here being produced by Tomicus, who cannot, of course, make mutas with this. And a great move by Rayman here, recognizes the fire and cancels it immediately, uh, meaning that he will be up so incredibly far in tech. The only tech that Tomicus now has, effectively, Speedling, those are the only units he can make the fight with. And they don't have any upgrades. The spines are gonna help zone out more roaches, but the drone count is still in Rain Man's favor. Rain Man needs to consider one of two things now. Pump nothing but roaches and just go and kill Tomicus, which could be a very viable way to go. Alternatively, he's gotta sit there and say, okay, I need to secure up a third. And Weddy Tomicus is looking to go towards that third base, expecting that to be Rayman's plan. Yeah, there is a third on the way for Rayman, and at this point, especially with two, plus two missile attacks finishing up, uh, why not both? Like, he can still attack with these roaches if he wants to, and force out more units rather than drones. Um, the gas count for Tomicus is, is just very, very low, and he will not be able to make all that many uh, mutas once, these, uh, once this finish, spire finishes up. There's only uh, one downside to attacking with the roaches um, and that would be that if he moves out with these roaches while there's still the speedling threat he could get his third base cancelled yeah so it's kind of a risk of maybe doing some damage but potentially losing your third and remember there's those three soon to be six spine crawlers defending the main base of Tomicus yeah but right now there's already a very small battle to be won here for Raymond which would be uh, cancelling the third yep. um, meaning he will be even further ahead in economy we have the first mutas now on the way for Tomicus and uh, along with a lo lot of links, this is kind of the thing that Rayman wants to happen. He wants his opponent to make units while he's trying to get an economic advantage. Um, Ooh, but no he cancel. needs to No cancel indeed, that's a pretty big hitter for Tomicus and Rayman needs to work on his tech as well. He is getting swarm host, uh, or at least an infestation pit, and adding on a couple spore crawlers uh, in defense against the mutas. 
Um, but I feel adding on something like Hydras uh, and the Roach Hydra composition would really help him. Uh, he doesn't want to lose these Roaches though, that would be a shame. The Roaches are buying some time though to get those Spore Crawlers down. The concern is what's behind this. The Lings are quite threatening. Luckily though, there's a ton more Roaches in the Queens back at home for Rain Man, who does have his third up. The Muta count is only at 8. That's not really a scary number yet. So, really we need to see Tomicus just bide his time, but to the same extent, the longer he waits, the, the better this game gets for Rain Man, who has got his third hatch finished. Well, Tomicus has actually managed to catch back up in the drone count. Uh, it seems Rayman has been focusing perhaps a bit too much uh, on teching and uh, flushing out his army. Uh, he has a pretty hefty roach counter uh, at this moment. He's actually adding on investors as a counter, counter to the Mutas. He's also heavily upgraded his roaches, which is why I think uh, transitioning into Hydras would actually be a good idea. Yep. Because you have such a beefy, or such a powerful army at your disposal at that point. Great move here by Tomicus. He's taken a hidden base down to the lower left. And this is one way that he can try and stay in this game. Having a hidden base just gives you that extra income. Not going to be too useful for production, but since it is a Mutalisk style strategy, you can still produce out there with Mutas and get them back to obviously your main army slightly quicker. But the concern is always going to be around those Infestors. And Wyman, do you think we're going to see those Fungal Quotes hit like they need to? Well, I was uh, looking at the production tab and thinking that, oh, he's getting Burrow, but wait, it's actually Tomicus who is getting Burrow. And I'm not quite sure what he wants to do with it. Borrowed Mutalisks, man. New meta. Yeah, that, that's the only thing I, c I could come up with. But uh, yeah, if you can hide some Oh, the fungal! Oh, already. So quickly. And he's got another one to follow it up. And he only catches two of them, though. Just a bit too slow there on the trigger finger. But uh, that was <laughs> exactly what we wanted to see from Rayman. And uh, next time, if he has a few more investors, uh, he'll be in an even better spot. And Tomokus, well, he has been warned. The investors are just such a threat. And... To be honest, Tomicus got off probably a bit lucky there. He could have lost the vast majority of his muters, and if they died, it almost definitely would have been the game there and then. So, what it comes down to now is Tomicus needs to be exceptionally cautious with those muters. A chain fungal on a flock of them, and that's the game over. Tomicus is really going for the long haul, it seems here. Oh, wants to be careful. Almost catches him. A queen there, nice job. Uh, the investors now almost uh well in a pretty significant count of seven already and rain man is actually moving out oh gets just quite a few of them here with these fungus needs to launch another one or it'll just fly away and uh, he catches a few more overseer providing vision and uh, he will catch these mutas and a nice job not as many as he could have done and i'd say no. that's one potential area um tomic is, is getting quite lucky in if you chain fungling never let oh, come on oh rain man come on what are you doing Oh, he loses so many of his queens. That's, like, that's the damage he needs. Uh, does he have burrow? If he loses these queens, no, he what does he have to actually fight these mutas? Well, he doesn't he have fungal. He's got, he's got enough infestors. Well, he's got a few, but if Tomicus just splits his mutas, he can focus them down really fast, and then this roach army is kind of poor. Oh, wait, there's swarm hosts. This is a problem for Rayman. If he he's loses the overseer, he can't fight them. He's moving straight. He does have fungals, remember, so he can use that to try and get it. Oh, oh no, he's... Oh, no, he's Wasting all of his army on the infested Terrans, uh, which are on the timer, of course. They will get uh, taken out, actually, by the Swarmos, and I'm not sure if I like this move by Rayman. Of course, he's doing a ton of damage here, and Tomicus cannot really retaliate all that efficiently. However, he's losing all of his investors slowly. There's not enough Swarm hosts to be a massive threat. There's only three. No. That's six Locusts, and there's so many Roaches, but... Yeah, he's just going to shove his entire Roach force down the throat of Tomicus and kill everything. Uh, Completely disregarding this Muta force, it seems. The oh infestation pit, if he doesn't think he can end, needs to get taken down. That's quite a big target. Um, if you snipe that down as well as the lair, you mean there's no more swarm hosts coming through. Um, so, should be able to get that. He's an infester, not able to kill it though, thanks to a good burrow, but Tomicus, he's in a very rough spot now. He's going to start losing these hatches, and that means he's got his hidden base, sure, but there's just so many roaches here, why man? He's going to lose all the things. These roaches with their upgrades, 2-2, they don't really give a crap about anything. Oh my god. They're just marching through the base, uh, destroying everything that moves or, well, doesn't move. And, yeah, now he's just going to leave. He can just run out, get a couple of overseers, but Tomicus... <laughs> Tomicus knows it's over. GG.